thing. Like those parts of the bus shelter is like not covered. It's in the rainwater can just see through. So on rainy days like this, it's really very really irritating. It's like you know, you just want to have like a good headache someday, you know, and then you come and then your hair gets terrible by the water. But you know, on the other hand, it's really good to have a shelter because like in other parts of Sydney, you have just like open bus stops without any shelter and they expect you to have like the trees as your shelter. And that sounds pretty cool. And then another thing maybe they could adopt in bus shelters like these is that maybe they could have a change in the seating pattern. Because you see the chairs are like not suitable for some people with certain back issues. So being a health professional myself, I feel what do you, like... What do you do? Uh, what's your profession? Me? So at the moment, I'm a student and I'm studying physiotherapy. So you can see that my eyes are into people's bags, people's bodies. So... So what do you think of the seating? The seating, in that sense, is not very suitable for people who have back issues. And some people who are really too tall, you know, their back can like extend to a point where you know, the back rests in the chair. It's not like suitable for them. So it would be really good to have like a seat that is, you know, suitable for certain people of the different age categories. And yeah, so and it would definitely be good, you know, if they could have more than one seat, like one bench. One is definitely not enough. I mean, imagine if there's gonna be a massive crowd inside of here, like in the peak hours after work, you know. One, one bed is not going to be able to fit a few bumps inside them for sure.